This is San Diego News Network. I'm Rebecca Tolan. San Diego has more biodiversity than any county in the lower 48 states. But beyond an oak tree or a ground squirrel, many of us don't know what species cohabitate here. BioBlitz 2009 will give you a chance to discover flora and fauna alongside scientists at Mission Trails Regional Park. Michael Wall is curator of entomology at the San Diego Natural History Museum, which is sponsoring the event. Welcome, Michael. Thank you. So this is actually a 24-hour event where biologists fan out looking for various species. How does this work? Well, we get scientists from all throughout the region uh, and we bring them into the park for 24 hours and say, okay, what we want to know is, you know, what's out there and what are their names of the things that are out there. And it's really an actually informal process, unlike, you know, normally we learn about the scientific process as being very strict and driven. This is a, just an event where we go out and we just try to find as much as we can in 24 hours and sometimes it's referred to as a rapid biodiversity assessment because mm -hmm. we're doing it quick mm -hmm. and we're trying to find as much biodiversity as we can. And, and I know you're really serious about this because when you did this event last year in Balboa Park, you actually only got a couple hours of sleep in this 24-hour period. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 exactly. And it's it's a little bit competitive yeah. uh, between the different scientists. And uh, yeah, last year, I, I think I slept for about two hours on the floor in my office in Balboa Park. So scientists are actually competitive. Like you have your bug people racing against the bird people and the mammal people. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. a, fr it's a friendly competition. Yeah. But uh, there's definitely uh, a competitive element to it because, you know, you kind of want to see if you can get more species than the plant people can get. And uh, so there's definitely a competitive element to it. Now, this bio blitz actually started very casually in Washington, D.C. with some scientists there going out on a lark just to look for new species. And then it's moved to various cities. Yeah. I know that the Natural History Museum did it in Balboa Park last year. Tell me what you found. Last year in Balboa Park, we found, I think, uh, 1,035 species in Balboa Park. Uh, wow, that's and not exactly what we think of as a nature preserve. Right, no, amazing. yeah, exactly. And, and, so, and that's one of the main drivers behind doing BioBlitz is to demonstrate to people that you don't have to go down to the tropical rainforest. You don't have to go to the coral reefs to find the biodiversity that we've got a whole lot of biodiversity that's just right in our very backyards. What are what are some examples of species you found last year in Balboa Park that you didn't expect? Uh, there was a few rare species that we found that they were new populations within Balboa Park, so uh, we didn't know that they occurred there, and this was information that's going to be useful for the conservation community. There were some rare plants as well as some rare birds, but then also just some things that, from talking to people who've lived in the downtown San Diego for a long time, lived in Florida Canyon, they would come up and see what the scientists had gathered and go, man, I've never seen that before. And yeah. you know, there's some really neat things we found. Things that are just right under your feet all the time and you, you don't pay attention to. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is not just for scientists. This is actually an event specifically in which you're trying to do outreach to the public. Absolutely. So what can children and adults get involved in this Saturday at Mission Trails? Well, the Mission Trails Visitor Center is going to have uh, some tents set up, and it's going to have a fair-like atmosphere where there's going to be education tables underneath all these tents at the Visitor Center. And people will get to see live snakes and lizards and uh, learn a, boa, a little. A boa, you uh, said. Rosy a rosy boa. boa. We're going to have a rosy boa out there huh. uh, and then there's also going to be nice little craft projects that even like the little toddlers can be involved in uh, but then also we're going to be doing some nature hikes that are going to be led by mm -hmm. some of the San Diego Natural History Museum staff as well as some of the trail guides out at Mission Trails. All right well we look forward to that Michael Wald thank you so much thank for coming in much. today. BioBlitz 2009 is Saturday May 2nd between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at Mission Trails Regional Park from the guided hikes to the the children's activities, everything is free. For more information, you can visit sdnhm.org or our website at sdnn.com. For San Diego News Network, I'm Rebecca Tolan.